Hi guys and welcome to 123 My IT. In this video, we will show you eight Android settings that you should turn off in 2021. Guys, I'm going to show you some Android settings that you should turn off straight away. These settings are designed to take the load off your phone's CPU, which will speed up your phone and save your battery life. And it will also increase your privacy on your phone, which you should really consider to start doing if you're not doing this already. I'm using a Samsung phone. If you are using a different phone, it might look a little bit different, but the settings will be the same. Let's go into the settings on your phone. If you can't find the settings button, you can just do a search for it at the top. The first setting to turn off is nearby device scanning. This sets your phone to scan for nearby devices. Turning this off will save you battery power. You can find it under connections, more connection settings, and nearby device settings. Just turn that switch off. Next, you can turn off usage and diagnostic settings. This is information that is getting sent to Google or developers when you're not using your phone and it chews up battery life. To find it, go to settings, Google, and tap the three dots in the top right. And then tap usage and diagnostics, and then just toggle the button off if it's on. This saves you battery life and cellular data. The next setting is turning off ads personalization. This is a funny one. Have you ever been talking about something and then all of a sudden an ad for that starts popping up on your phone? This data is collected and sent to ad networks so they can send you more relevant ads. It's too creepy in my opinion. To turn it off, go into settings, Google, ads, and then you need to turn this one on to opt out of ads personalization. Next, we will talk about turning off improved accuracy with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning. If you turn these two settings off, you will save a ton of battery life. You will find them under settings, location, and tap improve accuracy, and toggle the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth buttons off. Great, so now your phone won't be constantly scanning, you'll save battery life, and your GPS will still work, so no problems there. The next one is Google Location History. This is a list of all the locations you have been to. It's similar to iPhone Significant Locations, where it saves a long list of places you have been to. It's a bit too weird for me. Let's turn it off. You will find it under Location and Google Location History. Tap on Location History and then scroll to the bottom and then press Pause. Cool, it's been turned off now. Now, this next one I don't have on my phone, but you should check if you do. It's called Network Data Analytics, and it can be installed by your carrier or service provider. You can find it under Settings, Location, and it will be sitting down the bottom of Location. Go into it, and at the top of the screen, you should be able to turn it off. So that's Network Data Analytics. The next thing we want to talk about is restricting background data for specific apps. To find it, go to Settings, Apps, and then tap on your app that you want to change. For example, Bixby Routines. You should see Mobile Data. Go into that, and then turn off Allow Background Data Usage. Do this for any apps that you don't think you need. It will save you battery life and cellular data. The next setting is really important. It's called Turn Off Install Unknown Apps. Have you ever installed a game or another app and then all of a sudden you start to get nasty pop-ups? Then this setting might help. So go into the Apps menu and then tap the three dots and then tap Special Access. What it does is it blocks your apps from installing other apps from unknown sources which could be like ransomware or malware or just generally a nasty uh, add-on. So if it's turned on, just go ahead and toggle it off. A lot of the time an app will ask for permission and you might not understand that it is turning this on. So, well, now you do. The last setting we will talk about is choosing which apps will run in the background of your phone, even when you're not using it. To do this, we need to enable developer mode by going into settings and about phone. Then tap on software information and tap on build number seven times. You will see the developer mode enabled message. Go back to the settings page and on there you will see a new setting called developer options. Tap that and then scroll down till you find background check.
Okay, so I don't have any apps in here because it's a new phone. However, if you do, just go through and turn off any apps that you don't need. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to make your phone number private on Android in 2021. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might need this video, please share it with them. Hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.